Today we will see examples related to different methods of viewing parts of a solid. Which cross section will be obtained if the square pyramid shown below is cut vertically away from the top? When we cut a three dimensional shape along one direction, the face we get from it is called a cross section of that three dimensional shape. If we cut the square pyramid vertically from the top, then this will give us a trapezium shaped face, that is, we get the trapezium shaped cross section of the square pyramid. Next example. A light source was placed in the front of three dimensional shape. This gave a circular shadow. But when the side light was cast on the three dimensional shape, a rectangular shadow was obtained. Similarly, a rectangular shadow was also obtained when light was from top. Identify the three dimensional shape. When a light source is placed in front of a three dimensional shape, we get a shadow. The received shadow is in a plane. That is, the obtained shadow is a 2D shape. A circular shadow is obtained by highlighting the three-dimensional shape from the front. This is possible only when three-dimensional shape can be a sphere or a cylinder or a cone. A rectangular shadow is obtained when this figure is lighted from a side. If we focus side light on a sphere, cylinder or cone, only the shape of cylinder forms a rectangular shadow. Therefore, we can say that cylinder is mentioned in the example. We can verify this from the third position. The third condition tells us that even when the three-dimensional shape is lighted from above, a rectangular shadow is obtained, which is true with respect to cylinder. Next example, find the front view, side view and top view of the solid shown. When we see a three-dimensional shape from the front, we get a front view. With this understanding, we can draw the front view of the given figure in this way. When we look at the three-dimensional shape from a side, we get a side view in this way. We can draw side view of the given figure in this way. Similarly, when viewed from the top, we can draw the top view of the given figure in this way. All three views are similar here. So today we have seen examples related to different methods of viewing parts of a solid. We will see some mistakes related to them in the next video.